Hello, everyone. Thank you very much for watching Sigma Stage Online. I am Kazuya Maki, CEO of Sigma Corporation. Today, I'm delighted to announce two new lenses. What we are announcing today is Sigma 20mm f1.4 DGDN art and 24mm f1.4 DGDN art. Both lenses have been designed for full frame mirrorless cameras. They will be available in L mount and Sony E mount. With the introduction of these two wide angle lenses, Sigma DG DN Art F1.4 Prime Series has now four lenses, including 35mm F1.4 and 85mm F1.4. So let me introduce these two new lenses one by one. I start with 20mm F1.4 DG DN Art. It, since it belongs to our art series, we aim to achieve the best optical performance in its class, and I believe we have achieved this goal. Although this lens has been designed to achieve the best possible optical performance, compared with the existing 20mm f1.4 DG HSM art, which was originally designed for DSLRs, and share the same focal length and maximum aperture, this lens is smaller and lighter. The short flange back of full frame mirrorless cameras contribute a lot to achieve this uh, compact design, but also other state of the art technology I will explain in detail later has also helped us to achieve this uh, impressive portability. These are the sizes and the weights of these lenses. As you can see, the new 20mm f1.4 is much smaller. The weight is 635 gram, which is about 40% lighter than the existing 20mm f1.4. The existing 20mm f1.4 DG HSM art was the first 20mm for full frame cameras with the f1.4 open aperture. And it is still the only lens on the market today to boast these specs. Since the, its debut in 2015, this lens has got so many great reviews for its superb optical performance. We, for example, uh, the lenstip.com uh, said that uh, when it comes to the center of the frame, we really lack words to describe our impressions. However, I'm happy to tell you that we were able to enhance the optical performance of the new 20mm f1.4 over the existing 20mm f1.4. Here is the MTF charts uh, of these lenses. The existing 20mm on the left and the new 20mm uh, f1.4 on the right. Both lenses have the excellent optical quality in the center of the frame, but there is a significant difference in the optical performance in the periphery of the new 20mm f1.4. This is very important for landscape and astrophotography. Actually, we are very aware of the popularity of the existing uh, 20mm f1.4 within the uh, astro community. So we wanted to create something even better for mirrorless camera users. Actually, uh, making the best lenses for astrophotography is very challenging because this type of photography usually reveals even the smallest of the optical uh, aberrations. In particular, the bright point of light against a dark background tend to show up uh, an optical imperfection called sagittal coma flare, as shown in this slide. However, uh, the optical designer of this lens was keen to take on this challenge and succeeded in creating a lens with a precise uh, reproduction of a bright point of light across the entire frame. Here is the lens construction of the new 20mm f1.4. This lens uses three aspherical elements, and all of them are double-sided uh, aspherical elements. 
the aspherical elements in the front of the lens and another one in the rear of the lens has effectively contributed to the enhancement of the optical performance in the periphery. In the middle of the, uh, the aspherical elements in the middle of the lens uh, also contribute to uh, the optical performance in the center of the frame. This lens uses two SLD elements. Together with other several uh, high refractive index elements, these elements uh, contribute to collect the lateral and the longitudinal chromatic aberration. This beautiful image was taken with a new 20 mm f1.4. It reproduces the precise star image correctly, and uh, I'm sure that many astrophotographers would be very impressed by its performance. We also introduced several new features. Uh, first of all, we implemented uh, both front filter thread and rear filter holder. Many astrophotographers uh, use soft filter uh, to make star image appear bigger. However, using soft filter in the front will cause the star to appear spread, uh, stretched uh, in radial uh, direction. So serious photographers, serious uh, land, uh, astrophotographers use soft filter in the rear. So having the both uh, front filter thread and the rear filter uh, holder is very important. Actually, having two uh, filter threads provides a great flexibility. For example, uh, using the uh, light pollution filter in the front and the soft filter in the rear provides the uh, even higher quality result. Another important feature is MF lock switch. This is a new feature Sigma implemented into a lens for the first time. Many astrophotographers, uh, after focusing at the infinity, tape the focus ring to avoid it being knocked and the focus position changing. Of course, having to use tape uh, while uh, shooting in the dark is not a perfect solution. So this MF lock switch it makes the focus ring completely inactive. So after you set the foc uh, lens uh, focus at the infinity and turn on this uh, MF lock switch, you don't need to worry about the an accidental uh, focus shift anymore. Another special feature for astrophotography is the lens heater retainer. When working in a low temperature environment, many astrophotographers use lens heater to avoid condensation on the lens elements. This unique lens heater retainer is a pronounced rip in the front of the lens uh, to keep the heat strip in a position. It eliminates the possibility of it moving forward and appearing uh, in the shot. All of these new functions are very useful, not only for astrophotography, but also other type of photography, such as landscape. So I hope many photographers find those uh, functions very useful. Next is a 24 mm f1.4 DGDN art. As this lens also belongs to our art series, this lens has also been designed to achieve best possible optical quality. Like the new 20 mm f1.4, uh, this lens is also smaller and lighter than the existing 24 mm f1.4, which was originally designed for DSLRs. The length of this lens is 95.5 mm, and the maximum diameter is 75.7 mm. It's 16% shorter and 11% slimmer than the existing 24 mm. The weight is 520 gram, which is about 30% lighter than the existing 24 mm. Here is the MTF charts of these lenses, the existing 24 mm on the left and the new 24 mm on the right. Both lenses have excellent uh, optical quality in the center of the frame, but there is a significant improvement in the optical performance 
in the periphery of the new 24 millimeter f1.4. So we implemented the similar improvements to the new 24 millimeter f1.4 as we did for 20 millimeter f1.4. Here is the lens construction of the new 24 millimeter f1.4. This lens uh, uses four aspherical elements. The aspherical elements in the front of the lens and the one in the rear of the lens uh, helped uh, to uh, enhance the optical quality in the periphery. Also, these elements help to uh, achieve the zero distortion performance. The rest of the aster aspherical elements in the middle of the lens uh, contribute, to, contribute to the optical performance in the center of the frame. This lens uh, also uses the two FLD elements, which has exactly the same optical characteristics as flow light, and one SLD element. These uh, uh, special elements uh, contribute to collect the lateral and the longitudinal chromatic aberration. This lens also uses several high refractive index uh, optical elements. These elements uh, help to collect the field curvature and sagittal coma frame. So all of these special elements helped this lens to achieve the best possible optical performance. Just as the 20 millimeter lens was designed to meet the requirements of the most demanding astrophotographers in terms of the lens performance, we were confident that the 24 millimeter lens is also capable of producing exceptional night sky images. This beautiful image is taken with the new 24 millimeter f1.4 DGDN art. Those who shoot night sky landscapes may prefer the 20 millimeter f1.4 as it covers a wider field of view. But I believe that this 24 millimeter f1.4 is also a very good choice for capturing this type of image. Considering the focal length of 24 millimeter is more versatile, which means it can be used in a wider variety of shooting situations, the new 24 millimeter f1.4 DGDN art is a very attractive lens for many photographers. Like the new 20 millimeter f1.4, this 24 millimeter f1.4 are also compatible with a front filter and a rear filter. This new 24 millimeter also have MF lock switch, which makes the focus ring completely inactive. Both of 20 millimeter f1.4 DGDN art and 24 millimeter f1.4 DGDN art are equipped with some key features common to Sigma DGDN art series. First of all, both lenses have dust and splash resistant structure. Both lenses also have aperture ring with click switch and with lock switch. The click mode is very useful for video shooting. Also, this lens, both lenses have focus mode switch and AF lock button. You can lock the focus by pressing this button, and also you can customize this button if the camera body allows. Autofocus is fast, smooth, and accurate in stills and video shooting. As for the Sony E-mount version of the lens, it is compatible with the AF assist mode in newer Sony cameras such as A74, FX6, and FX9. This is a function that allows the camera to continue focusing on the subject that was manually focused using the focus ring during movie AF, even if the focus ring operation is stopped. We plan to make our lenses compatible with this AF assist mode in the future. And we also plan to make existing lenses compatible with this mode gradually through firmware updates. Lens food are bundled with both lenses. As they are both wide-angle lenses, excellent optical performance in backlit condition is very important. Our anti-ghosting specialist 
did a great job and achieved excellent performance with both lenses. Now, I'd like to share some images taken with uh, these lenses. First, I'd like to share the fantastic images taken with 20mm f1.4 DGDNR by Mr. Jack Fusco. Mr. Jack Fusco is an astrophotographer based in the USA. These beautiful images were taken in Assateague National Seashore in Maryland and Taganak Falls near Isaka, New York, for the Starry Sky, Waterfall, and Milky Way. The wide angle of view of 20 mm conveys the grandeur of the natural. He said that he was blown away by the optical performance of this lens, even in the extreme corners. The stars remain pinpoint dots of light, truly an astral photographer's dream. Next images are also taken with 20mm f1.4 DGDNR by Mr. Dean Shawood. He is a photographer and cinematographer based in London, who usually works with musicians. He said 20mm is a fan focal lens. Most people may assume it's a landscape lens, but it is perfect to use in small spaces like backstage in dressing rooms, in a studio, stuck between the drama and the stage backdrop. He also commented that it beautifully balanced on his Leica SL2. It's light, but not toy-like in its feel. It feels robust. It feels like a lens he would be able to trust. Next images are also taken with 20mm f1.4 DGDNR by Mr. Shigemi Numazawa. Mr. Numazawa is a Japanese astronomical photographer. The images of Milky Way is stunning. He commented that, surprisingly, the 20mm f1.4 DGDNR suppresses sagittal comma flare to near perfection from the maximum aperture. The contrast, magnetic, and performance against backlit at f1.4 are also perfect and it is wonderful to be able to enjoy its open aperture performance without worry. Next images are taken by Mr. Tony Noel. Mr. Noel is an action photographer based in France. He also used new 20mm f1.4 DGDN art. Through his photos, he shows his passion for the dynamic movement of his models who are mostly dancers, and try to push his boundary with a wide-angle lens. He enjoyed the look that a 20mm lens brings to create variations of similar scenes. We can see that he plays with the tension that given by the wide-angle lens, as well as the close-up-like effect to create a sort of rhythm in similar scenes. Next images are taken with 24mm f1.4 DGDN art by Mr. Liam Doran. Mr. Doran is an outdoor photographer who is based in the USA. He uses the new 24mm to photograph landscapes high in the Alpine and mountain biking. He said that this lens is sophistication simplified. It is fast and sharp, as well as small and light. He enjoyed shooting both action spots and landscapes with this incredibly versatile lens. The Sigma 24mm f1.4 DGDN art lens should find a spot in just about every photographer's bag. Next is Mr. Sahim Ahmed. He is an environmental portrait photographer based in France. He usually uses the Sigma 35mm f1.4 DG HSM art, but this time he challenges himself with the new 24mm f1.4 DGDN art to give his portrait photos a new look. He photographs some models in Paris in various locations with both larger plants and relatively intimate distance 
on his models. He appreciates the impressive optical performance. He also commented that being a minimalist and packing with the goal of taking the least gear in the field, this Sigma 24mm f1.4 DGDNR fits the go-to lens for his workflow and for the style of photos he photographs. Next is Mr. Francesco Ricardo Iacomino. He is a travel and landscape photographer based in Italy, traveling all over the world. With a Sigma 24mm f1.4 DGDN art, he traveled to central Italy, the roots of his landscape photos. From the picturesque hand landscape to the Milky Way, he enjoyed this lens in multiple ways to capture the memories during his trip. We can see that this lens is very versatile for diverse scenes with great renditions for such landscape he takes. The last images are taken by Mr. Benedict Brain. Mr. Brain is a photographer, journalist, and author based in the UK. He photographed part of his trip to New York City. He approached the landscape with a documentary approach and draw his inspiration from photographers such as the new topographics. He made images in the outskirts of urban developments. In his photos, we can see he likes to consider and explore humanity's relationship with nature with his camera. In addition to the urban topographies, he took photos of people he met on his travels. For more images and photographer's comment, please visit our website and check our impression pages of these lenses. Now Sigma has two 20mm prime lens in our mirrorless lens lineup. They are 20mm f2 DGDN Contemporary and 20mm f1.4 DGDN Art. For those who need a compact, lightweight lens, I recommend 20mm f2 DGDN Contemporary. For those who need f1.4 maximum aperture, please choose this new 20mm f1.4 DGDN art. As for the 24mm, uh, we have three 24mm prime lenses in our mirrorless lineups. They are 24mm f3.5 DGDN Contemporary, 24mm f2 DGDN Contemporary, and this 24mm f1.4 DGDN art. For those who need a compact and lightweight lenses, please choose 24mm f3.5 or 24mm f2. For those who need f1.4 maximum aperture, please choose this 24mm f1.4 DGDN art. The last but not least, the price of the new 20mm f1.4 DGDN is $899. 999 euro or 859 pound. This lens will be available August 26. The price of 24 mm f1.4 DGDN is 799 dollar, 899 euro or 779 pound. This lens also will be available August 26. Thank you very much for watching my presentation until the end. I hope these two high-performing but compact and lightweight lenses help you to find the new joy of photography. Thank you very much.